Hi, my name is Paul Thompson and I'd like you to help me solve a mystery in our oceans. Each year in February and March, a gathering of marine megafauna rarely observed in the world's oceans occurs offshore the isolated fishing village of Bremer Bay. Killer whales, sperm whales, long fin pilot whales, great white sharks, blue sharks and giant squid gather to compete for food resources creating a spectacle for lucky tourists and giving rise to the very popular documentary The Search for the Ocean Super Predator, seen internationally on TV. Now, while I love a whale as much as the next person, I think small is beautiful, and I want to understand why this event occurs where it does through understanding the oceanography of the region and the phytoplankton and zooplankton that support it. What we do know is that the area overlies the Bremer Bay Submarine Canyon. We think that at certain times of the year, weather and oceanographic conditions combine to result in an upwelling of cold, nutrient-rich waters from the ocean's depths. When these nutrient-rich waters reach the sunlit upper layers of the ocean, phytoplankton can bloom in large numbers and in turn initiate a food chain of zooplankton that eventually leads to the great aggregation of whales, sharks and other megafauna. To understand the area, we would use the two wave gliders to crisscross the region with repeat transects. The wave gliders would be outfitted with standard oceanographic instruments to measure seawater temperature, salinity, water currents and nutrients, and to detect phytoplankton. One glider would have a surface weather station. But we would have two major innovations. We would add a fast repetition rate thermometer to measure phytoplankton productivity. We would also add a video plankton recorder to allow us to identify and count the zooplankton. So why is this research important? Firstly, this is a phenomenon and an area we currently know very little about. Along this coastline, there are 32 other similar submarine canyons. So our results here in Bremer Bay will help in understanding other upwelling areas. Furthermore, oil and gas exploration leases exist in the region and it may be that this area needs protecting. Our results will be important in helping policymakers make these sorts of decisions. We expect this will be a research program with a high media profile. We have experience with ocean gliders. We are ready to go, so vote for this exciting project. And remember, behind every gram of shark, whale and giant squid, there are millions of beautiful plankton.